oh hello am i through to i got this number from jw.org um ollerton congregation in mansfield Oh, hi there. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's convenient at the moment, maybe some other time if it's not. I'm reading What Can the Bible Teach Us, which I got from before the lockdown, and I've just got some questions, if somebody could help. But if it's inconvenient now, I can always leave my details with you. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Where do you live? Um, I... I, I don't live in, in Mansfield. Um, I've tried ringing local Kingdom Halls and you have to put a special PIN number into the phone to get through to the Kingdom Hall. I haven't a clue what this PIN number is. Yes, thank my you. Name's Brian. My name's Brian, by the way. My name's, my name's Robert. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Brian. Um, well, on, on page 33, um, I have been focusing mostly on the resurrection, so I've got lots of questions on that. But on page 33, it talks about um, all governments belong to Satan. That's the end of paragraph 11. And I thought, well, surely not my government, surely not, you know, the crown. I was kind of shocked. It says, quote, all governments belong to Satan. Um, from a Jehovah's Witness card. It's called What Can the Bible Teach Us? And it's page 33. Page 33, yeah. Right. OK. Well, it'd be good to um, call you back sometime and have a, have, a, have a more convenient chat with you, if that's all yes. right. Yes, yes, of, of course. Um, I'm, I'm also I'm looking at the... I mean, do, do you look at the Bible a lot, at all, Robert? Um, well, I used to attend an evangelical church, but I gave up about okay. ten, ten, ten years ago. I, I no longer attend. Okay. Well, if I take your number, I, 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 I suggest you have a read of Luke chapter 4. I've, I've read the Gospels through dozens of times. Many, know, many, many it's, dozens no, of it's times. Just, <laughs> it's just to try and um, help with that question, that was all. So, um, what, 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 what relevance does Luke chapter 4 have to do with that? Yes, yes, of course. Thank, thank you so much for your help. Bear in mind that Jesus overcame the world, according to, he was speaking prophetically in John sixteen thirty three. Uh, let's just go to it. I think he says, I have overcome the world. Yeah, right, so. but, yeah, okay. Just bear with me one moment. I'll just yes, of course. The phone down, because my, my Bible was a very small pocket when I got on at the moment. One moment, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can always leave my telephone number if you want to speak at length. Um, I, I'm also looking at the resurrection in quite some, some detail, because I believe Jesus rose in the same body that he died in, you see. So are you saying that the whole world is possessed not by Jehovah God, it's owned by Satan, or is Jehovah and Satan, are they co-owners of this world? Because, you know, no, the, Bible's, no. the, the Bible says the world, the, the earth is the, the Bible says the, so, the Bible doesn't, doesn't it say in Psalm 24, 1, that the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So yeah, it's owned um, entirely by God. Satan doesn't own anything in this world. He doesn't own one blade of grass. He doesn't own one building. He doesn't own one square inch of this world. It's all owned entirely by Jehovah. The only people that Satan has got are people who are in rebellion to God. That, that's Satan's kingdom. It, it's people who are in rebellion to, to Jehovah, surely. Well, but Jesus was in the wilderness. He, um, he was tempted by the devil. And he was offered, offered 
king's work, but just for falling down and doing one act of worship to the devil. And the devil offered him all the kingdoms of the world. So are you saying... So, you know, if the devil didn't have those kingdoms to offer, it couldn't be a, a legit, legitimate temptation, would it? But he didn't own them, did he? Because the, the well, earth he is, is God's. Everything in this world is owned by God. The Psalm 24, 1 says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, yeah, the world and they yeah. that dwell therein. Yeah, so, Jehovah is in control of the situation. But we, you know, it all goes back to an issue in Satan, entering the Garden of Eden. So um, anyway, are you really interested in trying to find out uh, about Jehovah's Witnesses or... Are you more interested in trying to prove us wrong at all? No, I don't, you don't mind me asking the question. Um, well, I'm trying to understand your literature. Um, I'm reading your your book. I'm interested enough to actually read it. Um, so that's, that's really good. Yes. So, yes. Right, so. what is, as, I, as I say, it might be if you if you read the book, I can we could start from the beginning and go through it if you'd like me to bring you back sometime. And, and this it piece by piece, and, um, and, and we can look at it from the Bible. Um, I would only be interested in the resurrection if we could talk the next time on the resurrection. That would that would be great. Okay. Well, just uh, anyway, just the point. The point is, Jesus did call Satan the ruler of the world in the scriptures, and Satan did offer Jesus all the kingdoms of the world for one act of worship. Yes. But uh, now, uh, uh, Jesus refuted three times from the Book of Deuteronomy about, about those temptations. But it would not have been a temptation if Satan didn't have that authority over the world. He, and that's part of the issue. He, he, has no, he has no authority at the moment over the world at all. He only oh, yeah. rules people who are in rebellion to... Je to to Je Je Jehovah in Colossians two fourteen and fifteen we read if I could read that passage that Satan was defeated when Jesus rose from the dead at his resurrection um, because it's the resurrection I'm really interested in. Did you mind if I read Colossians two fourteen and fifteen? May I? Okay, well I was just trying to answer your first question. So. Yeah. Um, having, well, you see, you need to make the Bible harmonise. You need to harmonise the fact that repeatedly in the Psalms, the whole world is owned entirely by God. Satan and God are not co-owners of this world. So when, it, when, when Satan offered Jesus, it actually says, it doesn't just say he offered the kingdom of the world. He said, he said he offered the kingdoms of the world and their glory. So it's the people who are in rebellion to God that was offered. But Satan's power was broken when Jesus resurrected from the dead. Satan wasn't the victor. He didn't triumph over Jesus at Jesus' death, bell and resurrection. Satan was defeated. So Colossians 2.14 says, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. So Jesus triumphed over the devil and his angels through his death, burial and resurrection. So Matthew 4 is three years before Christ's resurrection. So whatever the situation in Matthew 4, it's irrelevant today in the year 2020 because Satan wasn't the victor when Jesus rose from the dead. Satan was defeated by Jesus. So we need to have a surely a Christ-centered theology where we focus on what Christ has done and not sort of focus on Satan all the time. Well, if you go to one of the last books that was written by the apostles, was the Apostle John and uh, his first letter. First letter 1 John 5, 19. Yes. Yeah. It and says, it says that the, uh, we know that we originate with God. The whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one. And does the whole world include you and the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses? Um, it can include any, anyone who, um, who gives in to that temptation, yes. But um, he certainly, it's part of the issue that he has in the Garden of Eden. Does, does the phrase, I'll read it, we know that we're of God and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. Are you and are the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses part of the whole world that lies under the sway of the wicked one? No. 
Well, no, well then, what? Sh- to come out from that. Well, no, then the whole world true. doesn't mean every single person, does it? It's a contrast between it's two really different hard groups. To speak. I'm trying to speak to you in a calm way, Robert, and I can't do that. It's pointless going on. Um, really. Well, uh, sorry, I do, I do, I do, I do apologise, but it's a. Co- I mean, I try and answer a question, and you've gone on to other things, and and I'd I'd love to help, but we've got to do it in a logical way. Okay. All right. All right. Well, look. I tell you what. Have you? you, Has my number come up on your phone? Has my number come up on your phone? I can speak any evening after seven thirty, as long as you text me. Yes. As as long as you text me a day's notice. Because I'm here, I'm here, there, and everywhere. I'm I'm free. I, I can speak during the day if if you give me notice that I can I can jiggle things around. Evening is best after seven thirty. Where do you live, then, Robert? I live quite some quite some way away from you. Right. Would like to say what town or anything like that? Pardon? Yeah, what town? Well, I don't think I have to give you my home address, do I? No, oh, no, 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 no. No. Okay. Because, as I told you earlier, you need to put a special code into the phone to speak to several local kingdom halls in my area. I have actually tried, I, I've, oh. I, um, but it's very difficult getting through to Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, I, but it's the resurrection I'm really interested in. I, I'm really fascinated by, by, by that. Have you been to our website at all, which is great, jw.org? I told you that's where I got your number from. Well, I know, sorry, I'm, yes. I mean to, to, look at, to look at these points that can help you. You can have an online Bible study on there, which is really helpful. I'm only interested in... <laughs> I only do one thing at a time, and at the moment I'm really f- in, interested in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and that's all I want to look at. I'm not really interested in anything else other than Christ's resurrection. And I've been at it for hours. Hours looking at this. Um, yeah. What, you, you want to know why he was resurrected? Or yes, the yes. purpose behind it? Yes, yes, that's right, yes. So I'd, I'd gladly uh, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at that. But um, all I would ask is, wh- whatever time you decide to, to phone me, please give me notice. If if you would kindly do that and never voicemail me, just just send me a text with when when you're going to ring. That would be great. It's Brian, isn't it? Yeah. Brian. Okay. Okay, Robert. You don't mind saying it's all a bit mysterious. So, um, so, well, anyway. I guess I'm a bit of an unusual person because I'm very enthusiastic, and I, I tend to go into things um, quite um, zealously. Um, there are a lot of scriptures I've been looking at, and I just can't can't harmonise them with what I read in the book. Well, you've got, what does, what does the Bible really teach? Is that a book you've got there? Yes, or yes. what does the Bible teach us? I've got, Sorry, I've, I've, got, I've got both of them. Um, what does the Bible really teach? I've got a very old yellow edition. And what I do, I've got it in my hand now. I've, I've got yellow post-it notes and I put them on the side of the book and I sellotape them to the side of the book with things that I've learnt on it. So if you look at the book, it's actually double the size with literally dozens of post-it notes uh, sellotaped to the side as I've learnt more. Yeah. Okay, well, it's good that you're looking at things anyway. Mm. Mm. So, so, yeah, well, I'll, I'll send you a, t- you want me to send you a text and, uh, and, and, and arrange your time. Okay. And perhaps, uh, and perhaps we'll just go through, through the book on the chapter on the resurrection. I've read it. I've obviously read it. No, but you'd like to discuss it. Yes, yes. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank thank you, Brian. Bye-bye.